Okay. That I'm going to ask you one question. If you get it right, then you will win fifty thousand right. dollars for that high school. Do I have all my lifelines? Yes, you do. You get to choose any one of the four lifelines. Ask the audience. Double ask dip. Ask the audience. Ask the audience. Bill Nye is terrific. Bill Nye standing by. Or yes, you good. can phone a friend, and I can reveal to you now that the friends we have standing by for you are Alan Alda. Good. And Donald Trump. Donald Trump! Donald Trump. The Trump's good. Donald Trump. And, and time is money for Donald Trump, and he is standing by for you. So there you okay, go. Okay, Trump, sir, if I need your help, you better be there. <laughs> so, so you got all that? You know. Yeah, I think I do. Now, all right. let's see what happens. You're going to give me the question and I, I see will, it? Just a minute. <laughs> Always want to rush. So nervous. Okay. <laughs> now you know what it feels oh, like. Oh, sure. Not easy. Are you ready? I'm ready. Audience, are you ready? <laughs> the left way millionaire. <laughs> no clock here. This is for $50,000. Which of the following has never been the answer to a winning million dollar question on the prime time version? Of millionaire. Which of the following has never been the answer to a winning million dollar question on the primetime version of Millionaire? Okay, wait a minute, I'm the host here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Okay, you got that, all yes. right. Richard Nixon, Peru, The Grapes of Wrath, 93 million. Well, I've been here for eight million dollar questions, and I don't remember which of these has never been the answer. I don't remember any of these being the answer. <laughs> To the million dollar question. Well, like, do you remember John Carpenter? I think he was the first one. Yes. What was his question? Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> well, sure. John Carpenter was asked, um, was asked, uh, who was the president who appeared on the Laugh-In show, which was quite big back in the 60s. And the answer was Richard Nixon. But that's not the answer here, is it? Has never been the answer to it. So it's not Richard Nixon. Keep okay, so what? that you can eliminate that yeah, one. Yeah, that's then. great. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Richard Nixon is, is a. I should have remembered that. My gosh, that was the biggest millionaire we had, the okay. first one. I don't remember Peru. I really don't. The Grapes of Wrath. 93 million, I think, was an answer. The, the amount of miles that there were between either the earth and the sun or whatever. And, and I believe. I'm gonna, I don't need any help. I don't need. I don't need it. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. But the question is, has never been the answer to a winning millionaire. So if I say Nixon and 93 million have never been the answer, so it's still the grapes of wrath and, and... So wait, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double dip. You understand now, if you double yes. dip, you get the first one wrong, right. you get another chance, you get both wrong, you walk away with 25000 No problem, no, okay. th no problem. All right. Ready? Sure, you're ready yes. for this? Peru. Final? Final! <laughs> no! Okay. That doesn't bother me, because I know it's not Nixon, and I know it's not 93 million, and if it, it's not Peru, it's got to be the Grapes of Wrath. You know what, and I say this to the weekday audiences all the time, you have to be really careful because some of these people's memory is off, so you've got to wait until we finish this up because you don't want to embarrass the reach. Has never been the answer. <laughs> you, you, you said grapes. Nixon was the answer, 93 million. Peru wasn't. The grapes of wrath, my final answer. Yeah. Yeah. You're driving me crazy. No. It's not. You're driving me crazy. It is the grapes of <laughs> Contestants, they were just great. It's been an incredible experience for all of us to be back here in this studio. And I thank all of you very much for letting us uh, play one more time this wonderful show.